This one's called the sneaky V. This is technically a three points of contact move, but don't let that deceive you because it is still very similar to doing a handspring. So make sure that you do have the strength in that bottom arm to support yourself. That leg will be touching in addition to the arms, but it's really not supporting much of your weight. So we're gonna get into this from a brass monkey sit or a brass sit, um, depending on how you like to get into your brass monkey. I'm just gonna start to drop down and I could either continue to a brass monkey or I'm just gonna transition to the sneaky V. Or if you prefer a different way into your brass monkey, a lot of uh, pullers I find like to shoulder mount. You could always shoulder mount into your brass monkey, sit up from there and then go. But we're just gonna look at it from a brass sit if I were to drop down into it, okay? So I'm just gonna go maybe one climb up just so I have room that I can slide that bottom hand if I need to, okay? So from my climb up, I'm gonna sit my butt down. I'm gonna use my forearm, push my butt to the side so it goes in my knee and sit back. And I wanna make sure I'm leaning back so all the weight is in this bent leg, all the contact. This leg's not doing anything, okay? From here, my outside hand, or the same hand as my straight leg, is holding on to the pole. Inside hand is down and this leg's coming down. You could open to a split, okay? This is actually gonna work kind of like a wind up from here. As this bottom leg comes up and over, you're gonna slide your bottom hand, hips go up and open to your sneaky V. And returning to that same position. So let's look at it from the other side. Um, one of the biggest things I find with this is people have a hard time dropping their head. So if you're having trouble getting into this, make sure you slide that bottom hand a little bit more and think about looking back for the floor, okay? So let's look at it from this angle. Climb up, use that forearm, push it all the way to that knee, slide down, okay? Same hand as top foot is gonna grab, maybe around head level. Inside hand is gonna drop down, fingers down. You can drop this leg or just go straight into it from where we were. As this leg comes up over your head, slide the bottom arm, drop your head to open to the sneaky V. Okay, so that leg, depending on flexibility and comfort level, you can sneak it out, you end up in a true grip handspring, okay? So I was going from a brass sit, dropping down into it. You can also just kick up into your brass monkey, get into it. So however you're getting into your brass monkey, if I were to go from here, kick, sit up, leg down, swings over, open. So something to keep in mind in this, um, couple little pointers to watch. One, the head, make sure you're dropping it. Two, that bottom hand, make sure you're sliding it enough. I would say those are the two most common mistakes. The third one that I see most often is pullers tend to bring the legs too close together. When you bring that leg that's swooping up to go into the V position, they'll have the legs very narrow. Think of trying to open your legs more closely similar to how they would be for like a regular handspring or Aisha. And then doing that, that inside leg that's hooked on the pole is gonna help push your hips away from the pole and that'll actually keep you more stable, okay? So just make sure when you open that V, as much as for a lot of people, they don't wanna open too far because they don't wanna get far away from the pole. If you actually open to a slightly bigger V, you'll feel much more stable with this, okay? So this is a sneaky V. Try it from a brass sit. Try it from a brass monkey and then sit up, whichever you would like. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Questions, comments, leave those below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, of course, hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching.